this way. All right, we're going to go walk to the press van. I'm not sure where our press van was at. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and toss to a commercial. Uh, we'll be live as we're here in New Hampshire. Let's toss. That conservative network RSBN was covering Donald Trump leaving uh, this uh, as he's putting his name on the ballot there in, in New Hampshire. He personally filed and put his name on the ballot there in New Hampshire. And as he walked out, there was a bit of hecklers there. One particular gentleman with a bullhorn screaming, lock him up. Donald Trump's going to jail. He was having a great time. And I don't think they wanted that on their airwaves because that'll get you in trouble with the big guy. Still though, he's there doing more things than just filing to uh, run in the state. He's also talking about his normal slate of craziness when he went and campaigned there later. Let's watch what he was talking about there. We have to be careful. You got to get out there and you got to watch those voters. You don't have to vote. Don't worry about voting. The voting, we got plenty of votes. You got to watch. Donald Trump says to his followers, you don't have to vote. Don't even worry about voting. I need you to watch everyone else. You need to be poll watchers. You need to start assuming that everyone's cheating on this next election. Don't vote yourself because we don't need that. I had no intention of actually trying to win based off of votes. It was off of suppressing everyone else's and actually literally lying about what does that happen. That's the plan. Uh, well, DeSantis, close number two behind him, decided to pounce on this one moment. In fact, the pack that supports Don, uh, uh, Ron DeSantis jumped on it. And this is what they pointed out from that moment, the never back down pack. Says Trump tells Republicans to focus on watching votes being counted on election night instead of getting out to vote. They quoted him, you don't have to vote, don't worry about voting. The voting, we got plenty of votes. It's just kind of repeating what he said, Viviana. I, I'm not sure where the hit job is. That's what MAGA wants. We don't need votes, guys. We have illegal activities that are going to get us in office. <laughs> I like that they cut away from that. Yeah. That uh, him leaving the courthouse to Mike Lindell and the my pillow like infomercial. Awesome. Oh, we're going to cut away. Want a pillow? <laughs> like it just. <laughs> I can't get enough of that guy. I don't know what it is. It's not pillows. It's socks. It's sheets. It's comforters. It's all. Does he ha has he expanded his collection? I think there was slippers. He's in, he's uh, now jumped on. I'm not sure if robes have been included yet. Uh, they're gonna have orange ones, uh, kind of the jumpsuits. Yeah. I'm not sorry. He's Black not in criminal charges. Sorry, <laughs> I, I, I get I get I get the criminals mixed up. No, this but is actually all of his like consumers are. So he's gonna have to create something for them. <laughs> well, the pillows do also. There was one pillow that had Bible verses on it and like a sunset. <laughs> it was you know, very much like a postcard or an email that you might. There get. was another pillow that had a secret zipper where you could put secret files in and just keep them. <laughs> but that was too hidden for his cohorts, so they <laughs> they prefer it out in the open. Way too, way too inconspicuous for them. <laughs> uh, but there, so that's that's at least the scene there. And as we've seen, these uh, these conservative outlets don't want any of this seen as if people aren't really like that. This alternate reality that they expect their followers or their supporters or viewers of their channel to to really believe in doesn't always make a lot of sense if they pay attention to literally anything else. And I guess that's what's been working so far. Um, by the way, in doing that. We've fooled a lot of people into thinking that whatever Donald Trump says is the gospel. So he continued on because as he was off in New Hampshire, Donald Trump wasn't only lying about his entire, his, his legal cases, but also he started talking about the Israel Palestine conflict, which finds him all over the place because we've seen him complaining about Benjamin Netanyahu, despite the fact that from America's, you know, the governmental stance is all backing all of his actions and everything that he does. Donald Trump just finds himself somewhere in the middle because he just has this disdain for certain people, uh, but doesn't really want to say it out loud. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.